Yo balo manya ti balyam, pandito wapite naso, balo cha pandita mani, sabe balo ti vujati. A fool who knows his foolishness is wise at least to that extent, but a fool who thinks himself wise is called a fool indeed. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us for our weekly thought of Dhamma. This week we'll be going through verse 63 of the Dhammapada in the chapter on the fools. So with no further ado, let's get into it. A fool who knows him knows his foolishness is wise at least to that extent. But a fool who thinks himself wise is called a fool indeed. So all of us are foolish in some way. No one in this world is truly, fully wise, except the fully aligned being, our our hearts. Even beings who are on the different stages of the path, the stream enterer, the once returner, the non-returner, they all have little tendencies of foolishness still inside them. They're not to such a great extent as a completely ordinary person like ourselves, but they are, they are still not fully purified. Only well, the Arahant is like that. But to acknowledge our foolishness, to acknowledge that we have flaws, is not being self-critical or judging ourselves, putting ourselves down in any kind of way. It's just being honest. It's willing to acknowledge our flaws. And that's not a bad thing. It's taking a step in the right direction. It's working towards bettering ourselves. To see our flaws, to acknowledge them, and to be willing to work on them. It's going on the path. It's working in the right direction. To kind of clamp onto them and to make them into something else, to make them into something truly big, we beat up on ourselves. Say like, I'm a fool, I'm weak, I'm pathetic. That can be a very dangerous thing. That's not going in the right direction. That's building up the wall, that's building up the delusion of I, me, myself, more. But to acknowledge it, to be like, I am a normal human being, I have done mistakes, I have some bad qualities I need to work on, my mind is not completely purified, that's a good thing. That's using understanding, that's using wisdom. And to work on those, that's truly using wisdom, using the tools of the path. But those who think themselves already there, they think that they've made it to the end of the path, that they are wise, where they still are not that. They're still flawed. They have unwholesome qualities still in them, and they're not willing to work on them, or, you know, they feel they just completely ignore it. Those are truly foolish people. Those people we should not really associate with, because They'll suck us into their world. They'll want us to admire them, to acknowledge them, to build them up even more. So to try to change them, try to help them, that can be a nice thing. Unfortunately, a lot of those kind of people, until they are willing, willing to look at themselves honestly and to see their flaws, there's nothing much we can really do with them. As always, we need to think about ourselves and care about our own mental well-being, our own spiritual journey. So it's best to kind of distance ourselves from them, associate with wise people, associate with good friends, Kalyanamitas, because those people, the Kalyanamitas, our spiritual friends, our spiritual companions, they'll help us grow into better people and we can help them grow into 
better people as well. So with those words, I wish you all the best. Continue on with your practice. I hope my words have helped you, and I'll see you all next time.